Good morning, everyone. Uh, for the record, my name is Chris Inda Hansen. I'm the CFO for the Gambling Commission. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Good. Good. Thank you. So, uh, I am here to just give you a really quick financial review for the uh, biennium that ended June 30. We still have some time to close the books for that. Um, and then really to present the budget for the next two years. So next slide, please. So our year to date revenue summary, this is on track with what I presented in past meetings. Our revenue, our expected revenue overall is down from what had originally been projected at the beginning of this biennium by the prior CFO. Um, and then our tribal reimbursements are less than originally expected because that work has um, the expenditures were less than expected and that's reimbursement and then our other sources of revenue which are fines and fees that type of thing were more than anticipated so overall for um, our fiscal year to date we are uh, down about 2.3 million but again a significant portion of that is because the tribal reimbursement and the expense for tribal activities was less than anticipated. Um, next slide, please. This is a little bit of a different presentation than I've offered in the past uh, because we are at the end of the fiscal year. I just wanted to show a comparison of the first year of the biennium compared to the second year. This is our revenue. Again, not including fines or tribal reimbursement. So this is our actual expected revenue that we project. Um, anything that is a red number on this slide indicates that our revenue in the second year of our biennium was less than in the first year of the biennium. So you can see that our revenue overall in our second year has been significantly less than it was in the first year of the biennium. The June numbers are not complete because we're still making adjustments and finalizing end of biennium information. Uh, next slide, please. So in a similar vein, this is our expenditures year over year for this biennium. Anything in blue? means that our expenditures in the second year were more than they were in the first year. So um, in June, again, not yet complete. Um, and also uh, as to note is that expenditures in May of this year, 13,000 was expended, was our first expenditure for our IT modernization project. Um, and then we expect to see those um, expenditures, you know, as as we go along. So in May, about 70,000 of our expenditures so far, or I'm sorry, I apologize, in June, uh, 70,000 of the expenditures in this current fiscal year were for IT modernization and then our website redesign that Director Griffin referenced earlier in the meeting today. Um, I want to call that out because those are going those are one time expenditures that we expected to see and of, of course we wouldn't have had them a year ago so it's a little bit of an exception to the year over year comparison. Uh, next slide please. So our fund balance review I've I've given an update you know a couple times uh important in light of presenting the budget request to you. The beginning of May we had about 20 22.2 million dollars in our fund balance uh, after May revenue, the sports wagering loan repayment that was swept out of the account and May expenditures. Uh, we ended up, um, I, oh, I did not summarize that line, I apologize. So um, May revenue was 1.4 million. Uh, the sports wagering loan repayment, which was expected to be swept from us was 3.1 million. They did sweep just a little bit more for the final interest in June. I do not have that number in front of me. And then our May expenditures were 1.2 million. So that did decrease our fund balance um, at the end of May. Our reserved funds were required to have a working capital reserve. OFM does require that. They do not dictate what that has to be. 
because our revenue cycles in a quarterly fashion, our working capital reserve is a quarter's, um, an estimated quarter's worth of agency expenditures. So that's 5.5 million. Our IT modernization, I've, uh, we've talked about that, you know, at, at length. We do have $9.1 million set aside for that project. Because we're now seeing expenditures, we'll see our reserve for that tick down as our expenditures are incurred. And then the same for our website redesign. We did set aside $300,000 for that, and we've just started to incur our expenditures for that. So after all of those adjustments and a fund reimbursement that will happen as we close the biennium books, uh, some of our uh, expenditures that we've had in this biennium are eligible for federal forfeiture funds to be used and state forfeiture funds. So after we make those adjustments, we uh, have an fund balance, an available fund balance of five, just over $5 million. Next slide, please. So our budget request for the 23-25 biennium, which is fiscal years 24 and 25, is $40.5 million. Um, the fiscal year 24, the personnel costs are for the staff that we currently have and our anticipated hires to get us to 114 staff in the agency. The contracting numbers uh, costs do include the work that we are doing for IT modernization and website redesign. And then our uh, records management system, we in, we're, uh, we've added in an estimate of $300,000 to implement a records management system. So for fiscal year 24, we are requesting an approval of $20 million for the agency. This does also include the retention paid that was authorized by the budget and the vaccine incentive for our staff that was authorized by the budget. Um, we were authorized, but we have to have the money to, to do that ourselves. So we didn't get any funding for that just for clarity. Um, and then it does also include the raises that um, staff mm -hmm. received as a result of the budget that was passed for this biennium. Our fiscal year 25 expenditures are, um, are our best estimates based on what we know. So increases in expenditures that we've been seeing, it accounts for the 3% raise that is already in the budget for the state and inflationary measures for year over year costs. And that's uh, 20.4 million. So that brings us to the total of the 40.5. Are there any questions about our budget request? <laughs> hey, thank you. Yes. Madam Chair. I move to approve the 2325 biennial budget as just presented by staff. Second. All right. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any um, further discussion or public comment? Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Representative Rude, are you still on the phone? I don't know if you're on the call. I am, yes. Thank you. Oh, sorry. wanted to make sure we got everyone's vote. I, I didn't hear you. He's not a voter. Oh, okay. Not a yeah, voter. I was I was quiet. <laughs> Thanks. I'm waiting for a compact vote someday. <laughs> right. That was the trick. Okay, um, then the motion passes. 